Experts claim there is a lost underground city underneath the Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. And there's reference to luxurious underground cities under the pyramids of the Giza Plateau, even in ancient Greek texts. There is an incredible lost underground city located beneath the pyramids of Giza. And despite the fact that only a few know about it today, it was extremely well documented in the past. The mysterious Giza Plateau is even more mind-boggling once you realize the ancient city of Memphis, modern-day Giza, is filled with subterranean passageways, shafts, a cavern system, and chambers which hold in their walls thousands of years worth of history together with countless artifacts. However, Egyptian authorities are not willing to reveal what is found beneath Giza to the general public like many other discoveries made throughout the years in Egypt. There is a lost history completely ignored by mainstream scholars. When it comes to ancient Egyptian technology and engineering, we find similar pyramids even here in China. Egypt on the left of Giza, China, the same orientations. What is going on? So, yes, they had some kind of technology, but uh, it was also worldwide in the ancient world. Ancient Egyptian civilization and the enigmatic pyramids, which according to many predate the Egyptian civilization itself. It goes pre-flood, way, way be before that. Now, in order to comprehend the full extent, the partial pieces of history we have been taught in school, we must understand that countless discoveries on our planet have been completely ignored by mainstream media. One of those discoveries took place in Egypt, where a massive subterranean a subterranean tunnel system with chambers and rooms was discovered below the surface of the Giza Pyramid Plateau. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Before I forget, I want to make mention here concerning the Tully Papyrus, the pharaoh of Egypt that witnessed the landing of UFOs over the Giza Plateau. He was, uh, as he was witnessing, quivering when he was recounting what he felt and what he saw, he called them extraterrestrial uh, UFO visitors that were the original overlords of Egypt. So he claims that they were the originals that set up these uh, Giza pyramids. Could they have been Atlanteans? We, and are these Atlanteans still around us but hiding? We don't know. Now going back to this, one of those discoveries that took place in Egypt were a massive subterranean tunnel system with chambers and rooms was discovered below the surface of the Giza pyramid plateau. A genuine history of what happened beneath the sands thousands of years ago is not present in mainstream teaching of our civilization's past, and reflection of that are the countless discoveries made in the last decades, which clearly indicate history as we know it is only partial. So in order to understand the enigmatic underground city located beneath the Giza Plateau, we venture out to Fayum Oasis, a district located a few miles outside the Memphis Nome. It's noteworthy, the province of Memphis, it's noteworthy to mention that in the past, Lake Miris bordered the Fayum Oasis, and just as its shores was the enigmatic labyrinth discovered by Herodotus as an endless wonder to me, he said. It's said that the mysterious labyrinth of impressive size contained up to 1,500 rooms and an equal amount of subterranean chambers which the Greek philosopher was not permitted to inspect in ancient Greek times. Now, according to the keepers of the labyrinth, quote, the passages were baffling and intricate, and quote, created in order to keep the countless ancient texts and scrolls safe in the many underground chambers. So I wonder if there are 
ancient texts hidden in those underground chambers under the Giza Plateau. In fact, this ancient complex impressed Herodotus in such a way that he felt compelled to speak about the mysterious structure. He said, there I saw 12 palaces regularly disposed, which had communication with each other, interspersed with terraces and arranged around 12 halls. It's hard to believe that they are the work of man. The walls are covered with card figures and each court is exclusively built of white marble and surrounded by a colonnade. Near the corner where the labyrinth ends, there is a pyramid 240 feet in height with great card figures of animals on it and an underground passage by which it can be, uh, be entered. I was told very credibly that underground chambers and passages connected this pyramid with the pyramids at Memphis. In fact, ancient Memphis, Giza that is, has a humongous underground system that combines a set of intricate man-made passages and subterranean rivers and tunnels. While these were described thousands of years ago, the gigantic underground cavities were mapped since 1978 using ground-penetrating radar thanks to explorations led by Dr. Jim Hurtak, who is said to have entered massive chambers that are larger than the largest cathedrals ever erected by modern man, above surface, of course. However, in addition to the above, he also spoke of the gigantic underground metropolis located beneath the Giza Plateau, said to be at least 15,000 years old. So it was pre-flood, obviously. Interestingly, there are numerous ancient authors who supported Herodotus's record of underground passages connecting major pyramids. And it's important to mention that Iamblichus, also known as Iamblichus Chalcidensis, or Iamblichus of Apamia, a Syrian Neoplatonist philosopher, recorded information about an entrance through the body of the Sphinx leading inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. This entrance, obstructed in our day by sands and rubbish, may still be traced between the forelegs of the crouched colossus, the Sphinx. It was formerly closed by a bronze gate whose secret spring could be operated only by the Magi. It was guarded by public respect and a sort of religious fear maintained its inviolability later better than armed protection would have done in the belly of the Sphinx were cut out galleries leading to the subterranean part of the Great Pyramid. These galleries were so artfully crisscrossed along their course to the pyramid that in setting forth into the passage without a guide throughout this network, one increasingly and inevitably returned to the starting point. Cantor, 300 BC, claimed that a set of underground pillars in Egypt contain written stone records of prehistory. Cantor, too, supported Herodotus's writings. However, even more interesting is the fact that written on ancient Sumerian cylinder seals are the records of the Anunnaki and their secret abode, which was described as this. An underground place entered through a tunnel is ent its entrance hidden by sand in what we call Huwana, H-U-W-A-N-A, Huwana, his teeth as the teeth of a dragon, his face the face of a lion. This extremely ancient text fragmented into several pieces also records that he, Huwana, is unable to move forward, nor is he able to move back, but they crept up on him from behind and the way to the secret abode of the Anunnaki was no longer blocked. The ancient Sumerian text surprisingly provided a relatively good description of the lion-headed sphinx at Giza, a monument that surely predates the ancient Egyptian civilizations and was set in place to guard the pyramids and countless chambers and tunnels located beneath Giza. However, we find more evidence of vast underground chambers in the writings of first century Roman historian Pliny, who documented that located beneath the mighty Sphinx, there is a concealed, quote, tomb of a ruler named Haramachis that contains great treasure, end quote. Surprisingly, the great Sphinx was one called the great Sphinx Haramachis, who mounted guard 
mounted guard since the time of the followers of Horus." End quote. The 10th Sumerian tablet, further proof supporting the existence of subterranean vaults is documented by 4th century Roman historian Ammianus Marcellinus, who documented the existence of passageways that led to the interior of the Great Pyramid in Giza. Quote, inscriptions which the ancients asserted were engraved on the walls of certain underground galleries and passages were constructed deep in the dark interior to preserve ancient wisdom from being lost in the flood, end quote. More evidence, so maybe they knew that the flood was coming and they did all this. Now more evidence is found in a manuscript documented by Arab writer Al-Telemsani and preserved in the British Museum. Al-Telemsani documented the existence of an extensive square underground chamber located below ground between the Great Pyramid and the River Nile. Al-Telemsani wrote there was something enormous blocking the entrance from the River Nile. Al-Telemsani wrote this. In the days of Ahmed Bed Tulun, a party entered the Great Pyramid through the tunnel and found in a side chamber a goblet of a glass of rare color and texture. As they were leaving, they missed one of the party, and upon returning to seek him, they came out to them. He came out to them naked and laughing, said, Do not follow or seek for me, and then rushed back into the pyramid. His friends perceived that he was enchanted. Upon learning about strange happenings under the pyramid, Ahmed ben Tulun expressed a desire to see the goblet of glass. During the examination, it was filled with water and weighed, then emptied and reweighed. The historian noted that it was found to be of the same weight when empty as when full of water. End quote. So maybe this was this had to do with white gold, the monatomic gold. It's an um, exotic material that uh, is anti-gravity. Okay, obviously this glass was made of white gold. Now, interestingly, during the 10th century. A writer by the name of Masudi claimed that advanced mechanical statues were guardians of the subterranean gal galleries located under the Great Pyramids of Giza. His description 1,000 years ago can be compared in significance to computerized robots seen today. And according to Masudi, these robots were programmed to destroy all, quote, except those who by their conduct were worthy of admission, end quote. He wrote, quote, Written accounts of wisdom and acquirements in the different arts and sciences were hidden deep that they might remain as records for the benefit of those who could afterward comprehend them. And Masudi confessed, I have seen things that one does not describe for fear of making people doubt one's intelligence, but still I have seen them, end quote. According to Herodotus, ancient Egyptian priests spoke, saw, spoke of a long-held tradition of the creation of underground chambers by the original builders of ancient Memphis. Interestingly, these stories, meaning Giza, interestingly, these stories were confirmed when large cavities were discovered during a survey conducted at Giza in 1993. Reports supporting the existence of vast chambers was documented by a newspaper report called Mystery Tunnel in Sphinx. Quote, workers repaired the ailing Sphinx have discovered an ancient passage leading deep into the body of the mysterious monument. The Giza Antiquities Chief, Mr. Hazi Hawass, said there was no dispute, the tunnel was very old. However, what is puzzling is who built the passage and why? Moreover, where does it lead to? Mr. Hawass said he had no plans to remove the stones blocking the entrance. The secret tunnel bur burrows into the northern side of the Sphinx about halfway between the Sphinx's outstretched paws and its tail." End quote. In 1935, incredible stories emerged after a decade-long clearing project took place. An article published the same year by Hamilton, Hamilton M. Wright described the existence of the areas under Giza. This information, like many other discoveries, are still denied by Egyptian authorities despite extensive evidence proving their existence. The article read, quote, We have discovered a subway used by the ancient Egyptians of 5,000 years ago. It passes beneath the causeway leading between the Second Pyramid and the Sphinx. It provides a means of passing under the causeway from the Cheops Pyramid 
to the pyramid of Kefru. From this subway, subway a tunnel, we have unearthed a series of shafts leading down more than 125 feet with roomy courts and side chambers, end quote. And this is what they found in 1935. The existence of the extensive underground chambers as Giza is, at Giza is extremely well documented, even though a few people around the world know of its existence. Media reports in the 1930s described subterranean chambers and passageways located between the Temple of the Solar Man, located in the plateau, and the Temple of the Sphinx in the Giza Valley. Located in the middle between the Giza Sphinx and the Great Pyramid, four enormous vertical shafts, each appro approximately eight feet square, leading into inner chambers through solid limestone were also discovered. It's called Campbell's Tomb on the Masonic and Rosicrucian plans in that shaft complex, said Dr. Selim Hassan, ending in a spacious room in the center of which was another shaft that descended to the roomy court flanked with seven side chambers. Now coming up, this is the... Uh, at the time of Herodotus' visit, there were two large pyramids with colossal seated figures on the tops of the center of Lake Miris. This is a pre-1851 engraving of one of those pyramids. So what happened to those colossal figures? Where did they go? Who took them down, etc.? Now, back to the uh, article. According to reports, inside of the secret rooms were huge sealed sarcophagi of basalt and granite 18 feet high. In 1935, when Dr. Salim Hassan was exploring the area, he wrote, We are hoping to find some monuments of importance after clearing out this water. The total depth of these series of shafts is more than 40 meters or more than 125 feet down. And in the course of clearing the southern part of the subway tunnel, there was found a very fine head of a statue, which is very expressive in every detail of the face, he said. Chapel of Offerings. Enoch and prehistoric accounts. In addition to the above, Dr. Salim Hassan also reported the discovery of three inner and outer courts and a room they called the Chapel of Offerings, cut into a massive rock outcrop found between Campbell's tomb and the Great Pyramid. Reports indicate that the center of the chapel, there are three ornate vertical pillars positioned in a triangular shape layout the pillars are extremely important points in the report since their existence is believed to have been recorded in the Holy Bible. It's believed that Ezra, the initiated Torah writer, had knowledge of the existence of the passages and large chambers beneath, beneath Giza even before he wrote the Torah. Interestingly, reports of sophisticated moving machines discovered at Giza together with a previously unknown subterranean city are found in articles written by the Sunday Express of July 7, 1935. However, despite extensive ancient texts documenting the existence of vast tunnels, chambers and passageways under Giza, Egypt authorities, Egyptian authorities have long denied the existence of those together with a number of other incredible discoveries in Egypt. But why would they do so? That's the thing. According to reports, the now inaccessible underground city can be accessed from inside the Sphinx, but other parts as well, with star stairs cut into solid rock leading down to the cavern system below the bedrock of the River Nile. The huge complex underground system below the Giza Plateau extends east leading in towards Cairo. In an article written in 1972, the following statement was made. No one should pay any attention to the preposterous claims in regards to the interior of the Great Pyramid or the presumed passageways and unexcavated temples and halls beneath the, beneath the sand in the pyramid district made by those who are as associated with the so-called secret cults or mysterious societies of Egypt and the Orient. These things exist only in the minds of those who seek to attract the seekers for mystery, and the more we deny the existence of these things, the more the public is led to suspect that we are deliberately trying to hide that which constitutes one of the greatest secrets of Egypt. It's better for us to ignore all these claims than merely deny them. All of our excavations in the territory of the pyramid have failed to reveal any underground passageways or halls, temples, grottoes, or anything of the kind except the one temple adjoining the Sphinx, they said. 
Historical texts document the extensive amount of excavations made during the 20th century, incredible, mind-boggling discoveries that are kept away from society, and as we've mentioned in previous articles, there is a specific and strict pattern implemented in today's society where only certain information is released to the world while most parts are kept locked away from prying eyes, almost as if there is a hidden level of censorship in operation, specifically designed to protect parts of history belonging to mankind, a species with amnesia. Uh, this was from Ancient Code on Humans Are Free. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.